Well, welcome back for the second installment of Tales from the Toolbox. Uh, we are so excited to have, have given birdhouses out last week. Some of you may have not got one, but let me know. We will make some other ones. After we're done with our three weeks, we'll make a few more of these. Today, we have a, a small staved vessel. Yeah. And uh, I'm going get, to get to that in a moment. First, we're going to say a prayer. Heavenly Father, pray you bless this time. Pray, Lord, that uh, you would continue to bless your people. Pray for our country, our president, our vice president, governor, move and work to our land. And while we're separated from the kids at church, I pray, Lord, you would bring comfort to their hearts. We thank you for your love, your care for us, that you would be blessed. In Jesus' name, all God's people said, amen. Okay. If you pick up a kit that's going to have 12 wood pieces in it that are shaped, they're angled, you're going to have a piece of sandpaper. If you picked up a cat kit last week and had glue in it, you can use the same glue for this time. If, and, oh no. find a disc, no, it is not silver, not even gold. Two rubber bands. When you get these pieces, you'll have a piece of sandpaper. You're going to sand the three short sides. Do not sand the corners. Let me repeat that. Do not sand the corners. If you make those corners dull, your box will not go together as well. You can sand it later. Round them over after it's done. You'll take each piece and sand it. The edges. Basically, you're going to be taking the little uh, pieces of wood that would get in the way. So, it doesn't take much. You're not making it as smooth. You're basically taking the fuzz off the edges. So, when this thing goes together, the joints will be nice and tight. There'll be no gaps. We're not nailing this. We will be gluing this together. The glue will hold it. If you glue it together with some other kind of glue, it'd be fine. The reason we're using the glue that I gave is because it is weatherproof. You can hang that outside. I don't know if you're going to hang this container outside. This actually, this type of construction, is these are staves. They're angled things. If you are going to make a bucket or a barrel in the old days, this is what you would do. Some joiner, that's a man who did carpentry at that time, would have cut those angles on these pieces, put them together with a metal ring, and would have made a small, small little bucket for all sorts of things. Water. Okay. Once you get your pieces sanded, don't do this in somebody's face. Dust, the enemy of glue. Okay, I did not have, I used to do this with a square, but I took a book, put it here, and a couple of pieces of wood. These are painter sticks. Just to help us line this up, the bottom needs to be flat. If it's square, that would be a bonus. There's a little kerf. There's a little notch in the bottom of this thing. Those can go down. They could go up, but they have to be the same. So we will lay all of these pieces down. All the edges will be tight. <clears throat> that will be important. It'll make it easier. Because then there's 12 pieces. Kind of reminds me of the, the 12 apostles. Jesus' friends. Uh, 12 tribes of Judah. The um, coming together and being united. Being one piece. One, one body. Very cool. Alright. Almost done. If you have blue tape. You'll need... You can use regular masking tape or blue tape. Your pieces are here, facing down. The joints, the edges are all tight. You're gonna take off a piece that is longer than you are wide. 
you will not overlap the first one. You put it right there and very carefully put the other ones here. I'm going to put two. Because I don't want my piece coming apart. Okay, we will. I'm going to show you without the disc because you will turn this over and you will roll this up. And it will make a little cylinder. All right, now we're going to do it with the disc. First, we're going to glue it. Get our pieces, we're ready. Okay, so you'll take your glue. Doesn't need a whole lot. Oh, wouldn't you know it? Give me a paper clip out of there. If you use your glue from last week, there could be something here. You may need something like a small paper clip, uh, pencil tip. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Oh, some little girl's missing her her little uh, bobby pin. Anyway, so. Almost. Ugh. There. I suggest if you have to open it, use a paper. All right. So now we're going to glue them between the stave. Whoa. That's the way it should come out. You only need to do one side. If we were turning and putting this box on a lathe, we would glue both sides because there's a lot, a lot more danger spinning a box like this around. And don't forget the block on the end. So now we're gonna put our disc in and we're just gonna roll this up, capturing the disc. This glue will grab everything very quickly so there's a little window, but you do not want to start this and then decide it's time to go to lunch. Pull it together tight. Oh, nice. Now, we're going to put a couple of rubber bands around it to hold it. But right here, you want to make sure all the end, the outside edges, are where they're supposed to be. That means they line up. Because after this sits for a couple of minutes, you won't be able to change it. So you make a loop in that so it doubles it up, makes it very tight. Make sure your edges are all nice and tight. You can move them around a little bit. After a minute or so, they won't move anywhere. You can take your tape off. We will not need that. That helped us glue it up. Now, if you want, uh, you can put your finger down inside this hole and kind of sweep the leftover glue out. Did you get me a napkin or something out of there? You'll, uh, if you have a damp rag, that glue will come right off your fingers. This glue will not come off your clothes. If you look at my, my vest here, that is because I wipe glue off on my thing. My shirt is way better. Thank you very much. I got Mr. Mike and Miss Jeannie helping me this morning. So if you put a damp rag in there, pull up some of the glue. There you go. So that little box, that little bucket is like uh, uh, the woman at the well would have used, or somebody would have put in Western times flour or sugar. Mr. Mike told me his uh, relatives came to this, uh, this country and this was their craft. They were coopers and they made coopered vessels just like this. So once it's like this, let it sit, have a lunch sandwich, peanut butter jelly sandwich or something like that, then come back 10, 15 minutes. You can take the rubber bands off and then you can sand the outside. So, 
Enjoy your, my wife, Miss Darla, thinks this is a perfect pencil holder. Probably could be. Anyway, you can sand the inside of this edge too if you like. You could paint it. Mr. Kevin has done the lesson on this, uh, so it would be linked with this. Well, I, I think that's all I have. Enjoy building your box. We'll uh, see you next week. Uh, God bless you, and we'll see you soon.